This is Rob Eddy from Columbus Community Hospital. Today we're going to be doing two different dishes. The first one is going to be a vegetable spring roll with udon noodles and a peanut dipping sauce. And the second one we're going to do is going to be a farro and brown rice fried rice breakfast bowl with a sriracha cream and a poached egg. So the first dish we're gonna do is the vegetable and udon noodle spring roll. And we're gonna start by making the dipping sauce for it. So you're gonna start with some peanut butter. Just gonna put this in a mixing bowl. We're gonna mix it up with some soy sauce. A Little bit of lime juice. We got some minced ginger, uh, fresh ginger. The powdered stuff will make it um, kind of grainy and bitter, so fresh is always better. I'm going to put a little bit of peanuts in there just to give it some crunch when you're dipping. Sriracha for a little spice. Most of the ingredients in there, what I need to do now is put a little bit of hot water in there and loosen up that peanut butter. So I've got my poaching liquid going here. I'm just going to steal a little bit of hot water out of there. You can use the hot water out of your sink. Um, this just works a little faster for me. So I'm gonna whisk this up, and we're just gonna to try to get this to a consistency where it's loose, but we'll still stick to the pot sticker. All right, so here we go. It's thick, but not too thick. A little ramekin here. A little bit of that in there. So there's our dipping sauce. Now we're gonna make the spring roll. So this is uh, rice paper. You can get this at most grocery stores now. It's pretty easy to get. Um, you can't find it in a regular grocery store. Every Asian market will have it. They're very inexpensive. Um, they don't have a lot of flavor to them. They're really just kind of a container to wrap everything else we're gonna put in there. So what you do is just put it in some slightly warm water. It doesn't have to be hot water. It, just room temperature will even work. So let that water drain off of there. But right in the middle, we're gonna go ahead and start laying down our, our filling. So I'm going to start with cilantro and I'm going to put it down, try to get the green side of the, the nice side of the cilantro down first because when you roll it, it'll be on the outside and it looks really pretty. Um, if you're doing shrimp, you'll want to put the shrimp right on top of that because then the shrimp you'll be able to see through the outside of the wrapper and it just looks kind of cool and people like that. Now I'm going to do some of these noodles. These are udon noodles. Um, you could use buckwheat soba noodles. You use pretty much any noodle. You could actually use spaghetti if you really wanted to. Um, I wouldn't suggest it, but you could. All right, so now that you have everything packed kind of in the middle, this is where practice makes perfect. So. It seems kind of, uh, it seems like it's gonna tear on you. You can see it's, it's got some elasticity to it. So it's actually, it's harder to tear it. It's easier to poke a hole in it. So if you have a carrot in here that wants to poke through the end, kind of be careful with it because it's gonna wanna go through. But as far as stretching it goes, you can really stretch this stuff. What you wanna do is kind of pack it in and roll it. Try to keep it as tight as you can. So I'm kind of pulling back on it as I roll and it's sticking to the board. So I can just follow where it's sticking, roll it right up. There you have it. Nice tight spring roll. Nice and fresh, filled with veggie goodness. So I'm gonna pop this and cut it in half so you can see what's going on in there. See how nice that looks. So there you go. Vegetable spring roll with udon noodles, peanut dipping sauce. Really good appetizer for the fried rice we're about to make. So the next dish we're gonna do is our uh, fried rice breakfast bowl, farro, and a poached egg. The key to this one is kind of timing. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is get my pan going here, this going so it's getting hot, but not, not too terribly hot. So I'm gonna start it on like a medium heat and just let that warm up while I start my poached egg. If you've never poached an egg before, um, it's not terribly difficult. It's another one of those practice makes perfect kind of things. Uh, I am lucky enough that my lovely fiance bought me a digital thermometer so I can shoot the water 
and it can tell me what the temperature is. So right now I'm at 176, which is just about perfect, because what you want is somewhere between 170, 180. And for a soft poach, which is what I'm going for, um, you're looking at about six to seven minutes in the water. The one thing you do want to do is add just a little bit of white vinegar in there. That helps to uh, get the egg to hold, its, hold itself together. So as that's getting hot, I got my vinegar in here. My water is up to temperature. So what I'm going to do is swirl this water around. Once that gets going, you just drop your egg right in. What's that going to do? That's going to kind of uh, get the white to wrap around the yolk. You get a nice pretty poach. So it's uh, about this big instead of being all spread out. It'll kind of stick to itself. See how hot our pan is here. This is a little sesame oil. You can always kind of tell how hot your oil is by the way it moves around in the pan. And that's moving and I'm getting a little bit of smoke. So you want it close to smoking but you don't want a lot of smoke coming off there or else you're going to blow your kitchen up. So we're going to start with the harder vegetables first. So I'm going to start with the carrots. Get those going. Now that they're in, I'm going to crank this bad boy up and we're just going to move. Just keep it moving. The key to fried rice is just constantly going. Um, the only difference today is we're using farro. Uh, farro is an ancient grain. It's got a lot of protein in it. It's very good for you. Um, it's also got a different texture than the rice, so it's going to have a little more crunch to it than just using rice. Um, I do like to use brown rice because I like the flavor. It's also got a nice texture to it. So our carrots have been going for about 30 seconds or so, so we're going to start adding some more stuff. So this is the minced ginger. I'm going to go ahead and go with some broccoli. Just toss. And I like mine just a teensy bit spicy. So this is chili garlic sauce, the sambal olive. Add a little toss. And then I like to season everything as I go. So I'm gonna put a little bit of soy sauce just in these vegetables, just so they're getting a little bit of saltiness. We can start adding some more of our stuff. So I'm gonna throw a little edamame in there. Just one thing after another. Slowly letting it cook a little bit. The heat get through it. The peppers would be good in here. You can put a little garlic in there if you're a garlic fiend like I kind of am. Bok choy, any other kind of cabbage would be good in there. All right, so now this is coming along nice. I'm gonna go with my peas. So you have to have peas and fried rice. Let those heat through a little bit. They're gonna go pretty fast. Now we're gonna start adding some farro and some rice. So I'm gonna pour some of this in. I think I'm gonna go about two parts farro to one part of the rice. This is where it starts to get kind of fun, really get moving. Get this mixed around. At this point, you're definitely going to need some of that soy sauce because it's going to be pretty bland without it. I like to do it now. Go around the rim and then right through the middle. Liking the way it looks so far. So now we're getting to where it's just about heated through. It really doesn't take too long. So the last thing I want to do is add the things I really don't want to cook, but I want the, I want the flavor to come out. So I've got some Thai, Thai basil and some scallions. I'm going to start with the scallions. Whip these guys in here. Really just like, like they say, folding something in and baking is kind of what we're doing. I'm gonna take all this Thai basil. Put that in there. I'm liking the way that looks. All right, so now you can see all the colors are starting to come out, all the vegetables. It's nice and heated through. Go ahead and kick the heat off. This into a bowl. So 
So now the tricky part, you want to check your poached egg. Should be just about good by now. Let's take a peek. Still got a little jiggle to it, so that's a good sign. You want to set it on a towel to get some of that poaching liquid off of there. Don't worry about the taste of that vinegar. It's not even going to be there. Okay, so now we got the fried rice into the bowl. We got our egg poached and resting on the towel. So now all we gotta do is get that guy off the towel and set it right on our fried rice. Just kind of roll a spoon underneath it. Get right under there. Try not to break the yolk quite yet. Just lay it right on top. And then this is just a mixture of Greek yogurt and sriracha that just mixes really nice with that farro. It's just a, a nice consistency. Adds a little spice. And actually is what kind of makes it good for breakfast. It's that creamy, almost like oatmeal. So there you have it. This is the dish. This is the farro and brown rice fried rice breakfast bowl. Sriracha cream and a poached egg. And you could poach your egg however you like, but I kind of like it runny. So thanks for joining me. I'm Rob Eddy from Columbus Community Hospital. And I can't wait to see you next time. We'll see what we can get cooking.